gonna be trying something new today and building some shelf brackets. Recently, I was watching a fellow YouTuber's channel, Greenacre Homestead, and he was building some shelf brackets. He had to work through some prototypes until he found a bracket that fit his needs. And one of the main problems he was having was having a way to attach it to the wall. Now let's say this scrap of wood was his shelf bracket. The problem was that he didn't have a good way to attach it to the wall because uh, he had some openings in it, but they were too small to get a screw in. And I've had this problem with shelf brackets before too. So it really got me thinking, can I create a better bracket? Can I create a shelf bracket that looks clean, but you can also attach it to the wall without hardware showing? Now, I think I'm up for the challenge. So I'm gonna take this piece of scrap wood and make a couple of shelf brackets out of it and we'll see where this leads. Now, the first thing I wanna do is just rip this down a little bit because I want a six inch board. Let me just clean this up a little bit. Let me try to square up an end, make sure it's square. Now I'm gonna be keeping these pretty simple. I made this six inches wide. We're just gonna do some really, really basic brackets because this is just for demonstration to see if it works. So let's see if it works. Let's mark it like this, six, seven, eight. Okay. I decided I'll try to fancy it up by doing a little cove on the sides. So I got two brackets made and they came out beautiful. I mean, they could use a little bit more finish up work, but I mean, these look pretty nice, right? For simple brackets. But now here's where the problem always comes in. How do you hook these to the wall? There's probably multiple ways of doing this, but I wanted to come up with something that I think will be simple and cool. Now what I have set up here is router table with a half inch flush bit in there, flush cut bit. And now what I'm gonna to try to do is cut a slot right in the back of these. This is probably gonna mess up my design down here, but I'll just have to accept that. I'm gonna put a groove right in the back of it, the whole back. Now I'm gonna try to rip some half inch pieces of wood. You guys saw me cut these little chunks of wood and they fit in here just like this. We're basically creating a French cleat in the back of the shelf. I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and glue these in, glue them with wood glue, and then tack them in with some nails. If you needed some really strong shelves, you could screw it, but the glue's gonna be very hard. So I'm just gonna glue it, nail it, 
And we'll come back when that's ready. All right, guys, it's the next day. I let this glue dry overnight just to be safe, but these are done. So let's look over them before we put them in. I wanna show you guys some features here. So you saw that we cut out some shelf brackets from some scrap lumber. This could literally be any shape or size. I just wanted to keep it simple. I did make a little decorative edge on there. The main thing that I'm experimenting with is this hanging system. This is the concept that I wanted to experiment with. Okay, so it's basically a built-in little mini French cleat system. And I pre-drilled some holes in it and I set in some countersink holes because I'm probably gonna hang it with cabinet screws. Uh, ideally, I would have some like drywall type screws and I would just put a, a normal countersink in there, like a tapered hole, but it doesn't matter. Again, this is just a prototype. I wanted to see if you could hang shelves with a simple bracket where you don't see the hardware and you don't need all that extra fluff. It's just some simple shelf brackets on the wall. And I really do think I have it. Now these little inserts, they're about three eighths of an inch deep the groove is three eighths inches, and it's almost a half an inch wide. Now, if I wanted to make some nice heavy duty shelf brackets, like inch and a half wide, this would be even easier because I'd have so much more room for a really strong cleat to put in the back of it. Now, I don't have any good spot to hang these because again, these are just prototypes. They're not really meant to be in the house, but maybe I can find a spot out here to hang them and just test them out. And before I go, one last thing I did last night was after I had this all sized, I put this back on my router and I finished the cleat with some beveled edges. Let me see if I can catch that for you. So that when it's in place, you won't see the little cleat. It'll just blend into the bevel. Now I did have some chip out on this other side and I could have prevented that if I routed it from the other direction. I should have thought of that. So I looked around the barn everywhere. Couldn't find a good spot to put it. I thought of putting it in our winter getaway room, but it just felt like I was gonna be putting holes in the wall where I didn't want them. So that led me into the house, into Belle's room. This is our daughter's bedroom. And this wall right here, she used to have a round metal shelf that I built her. Well, I took that down. And I'm gonna be putting, putting the brackets right here. It's as good a place as any to try them out. So, yeah, probably something like this. Maybe at my head level, maybe about like that. Like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now these two and a half inch cabinet screws are super overkill for these brackets. I just don't have any really good screws on hand right now. Realistically, all I need is probably a two inch at the very most. Yeah, well, we've been working on it. These feel good. They're locked in place. They don't move too much. A little bit side to side. I'm looking forward to getting a shelf on here. So let's build a quick shelf to throw up here and we'll let Bell try it out for a while. All right, I found a couple of scrap boards that are actually the perfect length to make a shelf out of. So I'm gonna use them. So this will be my shelf. All I'm gonna do now is rip some quarter inch strips of wood to uh, cap the ends so you don't see the end grain and we can use them to tie the boards together. Okay. So I've been trying to be patient, waiting for this glue to dry. I also put some wood filler on all the holes, the nail holes on the ends. It's almost dry. 
I can now take this sticker off now that it warmed up. I've had this in the warm room. So I think I'm gonna sand it down. The whole filler isn't totally dry yet. I'm just being impatient. All right, this is looking good. Other than being dusty, it's smooth, it's clean. You don't really notice the nail holes. I'm happy with it, but I feel like we can make it fancier. I'm gonna put a quick decorative edge on it, on the bottom side with my router. Let's see how this is gonna look. All right, the shelf is done. I'm getting ready to put it in. Lighting isn't gonna be great in here, but this shelf actually came out really good for a quick scrap wood shelf. I mean, literally, I went out to the barn and I found two boards and I used them. That's it. I mean, they were just this length left over from a bed project. That well, looks good. I saw, I hit the nail with my rudder a bit. I don't know if you can see that, whatever. Not only were these brackets a bit of an experiment, just so I could learn. That's why I'm doing this, to learn and grow, because I had a concept, I had an idea, and I said, let's see if that'll work. And so far it's working. But not only that, but it led me to making this. Really happy how this came out. And I'm gonna be putting it on here. Thusly. And now, that looks really nice. The only thing I was stumped on now is, well, the French cleat works on the wall, but how do I hook the shelf to the bracket? I could hook it down from the top down, but I didn't want that. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually just put a little bit of hot glue on the shelf brackets, and that'll hold the board in place, but be removable if I want to pop them apart later. Let's try to do this quick. Okay, solid side to side, it feels very strong. Well guys, that's all we have for today. I just wanted to bring you guys a quick little shelf video. And it's not so much about the shelf, but like I said, just the creative process. We're just trying some new experiments because I was inspired, like I said, from uh, Sam at uh, Green Acre. So just said, hey, he's making some cool shelf brackets. Let me see if I can figure this out because I saw the struggle he was having with trying to attach it to the wall and not having the room to get it the screw into where it needed to go. So that is a good option that I might be able to use in the future, now that I know. Yeah. In the process, Belle got a new shelf. <laughs> that was unexpected. Yeah. And she really likes it, and she's already loading it up with her uh, Lego, mostly Lego creations that she likes, little things that she's built. But that thing can actually hold a lot of weight. It feels pretty solid. Mm -hmm. I would I wouldn't even hesitate to load it up with books or something. It wouldn't bother me. I'll let her keep it for as long as she wants it and maybe even she'll she could do whatever she wants to. It's just a scrap wood project so if she wants to take it off the wall and paint it or do anything she wants to it, I don't care. Mm -hmm. So other than that there's not too much going on so we're gonna end it here but we appreciate you guys watching and coming along with us today and we'll be back soon with another video so wait. What do you think about the shelf? <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to ask you. It's cool. Do you like it? Yeah. It just works. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. Mm-hmm.
I'm not a big fan of shelves because people build houses out of drywall, which I hate. Mm -hmm. And you can't attach any, anything to it. And I'm really not a fan of drywall anchors. I just don't like them. In fact, I don't even know how you use them. They never work for me. They just never work. We're just so sick of drywall. Mm -hmm. It's just such a bad product. And because the drywall, you can only, if you want to hang a shelf like that, you can only put it where the studs are. And then the shelf is always in Not the wrong... where you want it. Yeah, it's always off center from where you want it. I locked out in Bell's room and it doesn't look too bad there. There were studs in the right spots. But man, I went all over the house trying to figure out where can I stick this thing. I just want to try it out. The reason I'm okay with trying it in the house is because it's actually pretty easy to patch these walls compared to like wood in the barn. Like if I put it in our getaway or something, I, you'd have holes in the plywood. Yeah. In here, it's it's just white. We can touch up the holes and paint it white if we want to. So it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's why I don't really use those shelves often because houses are so drywally that it's awkward. So anyway, I think I'm gonna end it again. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon, and until next time, take care. Bye.